Welcome to Gone Market Upgrade Charts of the Day for today. It's the 30th of January 2024. Mike Smith, Senior Analyst at Go Markets. To lead you around what's happening today as we approach the midpoint of the Asian session. Just a quick refresh of the news before we have a look at some charts. Of course, US equities saw a strong finish to the session. SP 500 closing at fresh record highs and looking good. Although it is a very eventful week with earnings, US jobs with the non farm payrolls on Friday, and of course the Fed interest rate. So, this is going to be an interesting week for sure in terms of sentiment over the next few weeks, I would suggest. Evergrande in Asia and their liquidation have impacted on the Hang Seng, particularly this morning, but also on the Shanghai to a lesser extent, the property. Uh, developer is in obviously big trouble, which is no surprise really, considering its history over the last couple of years. But it has pulled down on Asian markets a little bit. And US futures are near neutral. The ASX is still up around 0.3%, and the Nikkei is also looking mildly positive. On the back of that late US rally, we are seeing European futures pointing to a positive open this afternoon and may see the DAX test new record highs also. US dollar index is still around resistance just below that 200 EMA. It hasn't really moved very much in the last couple of weeks. Gold edged higher from that 2020 level that we reported yesterday. Very, very choppy day though, but did close around about 2030. It was slightly higher in early Asian trading, but doesn't look as though there's the buying momentum in that just yet. Copper retested but failed to break the month monthly highs that we talked about before. 388 is a really important level. For the base metal and all tested 200 EMA to the upside. When we reported yesterday, it was challenging it, but it just pulled back by the end of the trading session and it's a little softer overall in the last 24 hours. Bitcoin, however, continued to see buying pressure coming into it after that bounce of 40,000, trading around 43 at the moment, and iron 45 as the next key technical level. As I've already said, earnings continue to be in focus, and it's a big tech day today with Google and Microsoft reporting after the bell, amongst many others. It's the Fed rate decision on Wednesday, and non-farm payrolls on Friday, as I've already said. Today is not an insignificant day in terms of data, particularly in the Eurozone, where we've got German and Eurozone overall GDP. Uh, this evening, the US housing data being released is the highlight. A couple of charts of core RI today. Uh, select Harvest on the ASX are looking interesting. Little line here around about 320, which we think is important. It was tested yesterday, looking as though it was going to go into trend continuation. And it's tested again today. But you can see it was support through late November into December. And so we are possibly being a patient for a breach of 320, maybe up to 340 or even 350 in the short term. After that, the high probability trade looks good for a potential move up back towards this 200 EMA around about 380, but in the short term, that move up to 350 looks possible. Plenty of action in yen crosses today. You can see here, if we look at the GB pound yen, we tested a key level here that has been tested a few times over the last few days, but you can see there we appear to have significant support in 187.12, and we're now stuck underneath the resistance, which correlates again to key price points over the last three or four days so we're looking for a move through 187.50 for a possible move back up towards 188 merit's been patient until we get a breach of that but that is one to watch throughout the day trade safe and see you again soon bye bye for now